Hi everyone, my name is Med to Med. This video is going to be all about status epilepticus. These notes are based on the following resources. I've been using Scott's notes, as always the Oxford Handbook of Clinical Medicine, and utilising the NICE guidelines. As a disclaimer, I am a third year medical student. This video is not intended to be a substitute for any professional medical advice, and you should always consult your doctor about any health concerns. The definition of status epilepticus is either a seizure that lasts for more than 30 minutes or having repeated seizures without intervening periods of consciousness. Although this can happen in patients with known epilepsy, if this occurs as a first presentation seizure, then it's likely that it was caused by a structural brain lesion. As with most emergencies, management is all about the following the ABCDE structure in order to recognise and treat sounds quickly. Firstly, you need to open and secure the airway. You may need to use an airway adjunct and remove any false teeth if they are a hazard. Then you will give oxygen at 100% with suction as required. You need to get IV access and take bloods. We'll explore what kind of bloods need to be taken next. You give an IV bolus of an anticonvulsant medication, like 4 mg of lorazepam. This needs to be repeated after 10 to 20 minutes if there has been no response. If you're concerned about alcohol-induced seizures or malnourishment, then give thiamine at 250 mg and give glucose 50 ml at 50% via the IV, unless you are certain that their glucose levels are normal. This is a good point to treat any acidosis as well. You need to correct hypotension with fluids, as you usually would. Then an IV infusion if the seizures continue by starting phenytoin at 15 to 18 milligrams per kilogram via IVI. You then need to monitor the ECG and blood pressure. Lastly, if the seizures continue after 60 to 90 minutes, you need to give general anaesthesia such as propofol infusion and ventilate whilst continuing to monitor the EEG. You must have anaesthetist already with you at this stage preferably after 20 minutes of seizing. So we've mentioned throughout the management plan that we're going to be giving and taking various things, so let's explore that in more detail. We're going to want to check the patient's glucose levels to make sure this isn't a hypoglycemia-induced seizure. We do ABGs, use an ease, calcium tests, a full blood count and an EEG. Anticonvulsant levels need to be checked too, as well as a toxicology screen. We should do an LP, a blood and urine culture, and checking carbon monoxide levels is actually a really good idea too when other causes can't be found. You should always do an urgent EEG and do a CT and check their normal OBS via pulse oximetry and cardiac monitoring. Once the patient has recovered, it's worth having a chat to work out whether they know what's caused this series of seizures. They may have been hypoglycemic, pregnant, it could be due to the effects of alcohol or drugs. They may have a CNS lesion or infection. They might have known high blood pressure, have a brain disease like encephalopathy, or may have forgotten to take their anticonvulsants if they have known epilepsy. Great, that was quick. So, stages epilepticus, here's the summary. Firstly, it's defined as a seizure lasting greater than 30 minutes or repeated seizures without periods of consciousness. You should treat by using your A to E survey. Get IV access, take bloods, then give IV lorazepam. Treat other potential causes like alcohol withdrawal with thiamine and glucose for hypoglycemia. Speak to the patient after they recover to work out whether they have any predisposing factors. And lastly, always contact an anaesthetist after 20 minutes of seizing. They may need to give a propofol infusion if the seizures are continuing. And that's it. Thank you for listening.